Welcome to Cubase Pro 9.5. This release sees Steinberg carry on with the tradition of adding features that are heavily requested by our many users. And as usual, we've thrown in a few Steinberg surprises and we continue with the ongoing work to bring you streamlined workflow and greater performance. Let's go take a look. In Cubase Pro 9, we reconfigured the zones in the project window, making it easier for you to get access to important functionality. In 9.5, the control room has been implemented into the right zone. Now we can quickly give performers whatever they need during the recording process. You also have instant access to talkback and monitoring cues. Cubase 9 saw the introduction of the mix console in the lower zone. Now we've also got a meter tab in the right zone. You can produce with confidence in the project window with access to track metering in the lower zone and master and loudness metering in the right zone. Feedback from producers on the implementation of the sampler track in Cubase 9 has been phenomenal. But the word is you want instant access to your external sounds. So we've given you a file browser button in the media bay tab. Now you can take your time searching for sounds and previewing them inside of the media bay. Drag and drop the media straight over into your project or into one of the many instrument windows inside a Cubase or drop it straight to the sampler track to trigger and manipulate the sound. An A-B comparison has been added to the sampler track so you can reference changes as you make them. Sampling isn't just about recording live instruments or working with audio files. Now you can pick up on a MIDI event and drag and drop it straight down into the sampler control to render the audio and load that into an all new sampler track. You can also drag and drop files from the desktop over into the sampler track to load them. A huge feature request was the addition of Bezier automation curves. In Cubase Pro 9.5, you can now draw beautiful smooth shaped automation curves directly into the automation track. It's incredibly intuitive. You can hover your mouse button over the top of the line to draw in automation points, and you can grab the circle in between the two points to smoothly draw in a curve. The integration between tracks with Bezier curves and VCA faders is superb. Any automation changes made on the VCA channel will also be visually represented in the channel with the Bezier curves. The shape of the automation data can be further sculpted by using the range tools and the automation handles. Copying and pasting automation data is as easy as ever. And now you can quickly scale your automation just by using the range tool. There's no need to insert automation points. You simply draw the area you want to scale, go to the top and drag up or down. Many people use the snap to grid function to enter precise automation data. With the new adapt to zoom function, as we zoom in and out, our resolution on the grid also changes meaning we can move these automation points to whatever the grid setting is for that particular zoom. The Adapt to Zoom feature is also available in the key editor. Now you can very quickly move your MIDI events based on the resolution of the zoom setting. It's also implemented into the drum editor, and this all saves us valuable time going backwards and forwards in between quantize settings. You can drag and drop instruments directly from the media bay out onto the project window to load them into the project. Hellion Sonic SE3 comes standard with Cubase Pro 9.5, and it also includes a new instrument called Flux. Flux is based on the groundbreaking wavetable synthesis that was introduced in Hellion 6. There's two oscillator wavetable synths and over 120 presets included. Every release of Cubase gets bigger and better. In 9.5, we've doubled the amount of insert slots. There's now 16 and you can move a separator line to define the amount of pre and post insert slots. A number of our favorite plugins have also been given a well-deserved workover. The character parameter in the tube compressor offers higher saturation, which also gives us additional harmonics for higher frequencies, offering a more brilliant sound. The vintage compressor gets a new dry and wet mix parameter, making it perfect for parallel compression. Magneto has also had a major cosmetic overhaul, the compressor has a high ratio button for pumping compression effects, and it also gets a dry mix parameter to help us get parallel compression without additional routing. Cubase Pro 9.5 comes with a massive 180 production chain presets. The presets also contain 50 specialized mastering bus presets, which are designed to cover genres such as indie, hip hop, country, EDM. The presets combine Steinberg inserts and channel strip settings and EQs to ensure that your project will sound amazing.
you don't need to add an insert to an entire track if it's just one little piece of your project that you want to affect. Select the audio and add the direct offline processing function to the project. Now you can select an effect that you can process over the top of the selected audio. As you change the parameters, the visual representation of the audio will also change. You can also hear any changes that you're making to the selected audio. It's not just inserts, you can also select an audio process to apply to the selected audio event. As you move the parameters, once again, the visual representation will change. You can change the order or bypass the inserts and processes that you've added to the audio file. You can leave this process open for the remainder of your project, or if you're really happy with the sound, you can process it and write it over the top of the audio file. The Cubase Pro 9.5 metronome setup window now moves into a world of its own. For starters, you can change from the world famous Steinberg click to any number of click sounds. Move across to the click patterns tab for a whole new world of Cubase click track. On the left, we've got a list of different type signatures and on the right, we've got a whole variety of different patterns containing different accents and velocity points. You can go with factory presets or define your very own. You can also now render the MIDI and the audio click signal to its very own track within Cubase. Let's take that a step further. Many of us are working with multiple time signatures inside our Cubase projects. We can work with a different click pattern for each time signature change that's introduced into our project. Let's say you're in the middle of a take and the drummer needs an accent change on the click track. Well, you can do that on the fly in the time signature track out on the project window. The new metronome functionality is highly flexible and contains a click option for every scenario. Also introduced is double precision 64-bit internal processing. All VST3 plugins able to support 64-bit processing will automatically be processed in 64-bit. It's now easy to change the custom colors in Cubase. Be as conservative or outgoing as you like. Instantly play from anywhere inside your project by holding down Shift and Alt or Option and clicking with the mouse. The input and output channels are now shown by default in the project window, making it easier to load and save track presets. There's a quick bypass button on all insert slots and you can hold down Alt or Option to toggle the insert on or off. The time display can be used as a visual metronome. Right mouse click and go down to the Show Beat Count Only Display option. Now there's a visual representation of where you are in the bar. You can also use the context menu to increase or decrease the display size. A recent maintenance update saw the introduction of a new video engine, which supports all the most relevant codecs and external video cards. We're also very happy to announce a collaboration with Softube and deep integration for their console one will be available in the new year. There are always so many more smaller but just as important features that have been added in this release that we don't have time to talk about in the feature video. Please go over to YouTube and subscribe to our Cubase channel for up-to-date information on all of the new features and functionality that are part of this Cubase Pro 9.5 release. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. Jump on our social media pages and let us know how you're being creative with Cubase Pro 9.5.